Paul Jolie Bodies, named after the American physiologist William Henry Hall and the French hematologist Justin Marie Jolie. Hall Jolie Bodies. What are these? Hall Jolie Bodies. These are basophilic nuclear remnants in the red blood cells. DNA clusters, nuclear remnants found in the red blood cells. Why is that? During the process of hematopoiesis in the bone marrow, the nuclear remnants are normally expelled from erythroblasts because, you know, erythroblasts, they have nucleus, while erythrocytes or red blood cells do not have nucleus. They're is a stage where this nucleus is being expelled from the late erythroblast during maturation. So normally these should be removed during the maturation process. Cells that fail to expel their nuclei will get destroyed by the spleen. Of course there are macrophages waiting in the spleen to destroy any abnormally shaped cells. But what if the spleen was removed such as splenectomy? or malfunctioning such as otosplenectomy in sickle cell disease for example. Will these clusters be removed? Absolutely not. They will persist. In sickle cell anemia for example there is functional asplenia also known as otosplenectomy so these remnants will remain. These whole jolly bodies will be there in the blood film under the microscope. Other cases, such as splenectomy, you don't have a spleen, so these cells will persist. Radiation, radiation towards the spleen, especially in cases of um, maybe lymphoma. Uh, or hyposplenia, the function of the spleen is reduced, so you end up with whole jolly bodies. Now a mnemonic about whole jolly bodies. They are basophilic nuclear remnants found in RBCs, normally removed by splenic macrophages. But in some cases, the spleen is deceased, as in sickle cell disease. Basophilic nuclear remnants found in RBCs, whole jolly bodies. They are normally removed by splenic macrophages, whole jolly bodies. But in some cases, the spleen is diseased, as in sickle cell disease. Whole jolly bodies. I'll see you in the next video, so subscribe, please. <laughs>